Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. Guys, this time I want to talk about some boots that some of you guys should get into wearing. Uh, you know it's getting into the time of the year, man, where you when you wash cars, you detailing cars out there in the field. Well, you're doing mobile detailing or you're just detailing in your yard or shop or wherever, you know. Uh, you need to have some good shoes on your feet, guys. Some good expensive boots. And I want to go over a couple pair of these with you guys, man. Some of the ones that I wear a lot. I mean, you know me, personally, I wear boots all year round. Sometimes I wear the low-cut Timberlands, you know, like I'm wearing right now. I wear these type of ones here. The low-cut type Tims. I wear these just for comfort. Just when I'm beating around the house or just running errands and uh, stuff like that, man. I rock these right here. They're real comfortable. But when I'm detailing cars... Um, I try to, you know, you be out there, you're going to be dealing with a lot of water, and it's getting chilly too, you know, so spraying water everywhere, and you need something waterproof, something good, and something that's going to protect your feet, something that's going to be insulated, and something that's warm. Now, this one here, I recommend some Timberland boots for that. These are running about 150 to 200 bucks. Nice solid shoe. The soles are very solid. They insulate on in here. As you can see, they're waterproof. And um, they are some nice firm shoes. Now I always train my tongue and flip guys like this. That's my style, man. I rock my Tims like that. I train that tongue to flip. I always have my tongue so they flip like this. That's just the style of the way I wear mine. I don't know about you guys, the Tim Tong ain't flipping like that. You need to train them to flip. It's like that. That's my style, man. That's how I rock my Tims, man. No other way. The tongue got to flip like this. See that? That's where I do it, man. That's where I do it. Alright? That's one of the Timberlands I wear. I want to share with you guys. Uh, it's rent, like, like I said, 150 200 bucks. You know, Don't wear them too much. But that's some of the ones I wear like those. And anyway, let's get them out of the way. Okay, there's another one here. Uh, these are more preferable ones that I wear because of the colorway. And these, when I detail cars, as you can see, got them wet. These are about brand new. As you can see, the bottom have no wear on them hardly. See? I only wore them a handful of times, but when I wore them, I washed cars. And you can see the water stains all over them and everything. See that? And um, these ran me about 150, 150, 150, 150. And um, I don't wear them cheap dress shoes, man. I wear that good stuff, man, you know, because, like I say, you got to protect your feet. Uh, I got a lot of dress shoes, expensive dress shoes and stuff that I sell. I sell dress shoes to different people. But uh, dress shoes ain't never been my thing, man. I don't wear dress shoes, man. Might slip. Can't kick nobody butt. You know? Might go kick somebody side of the head with these, man. <laughs> dress shoe boy you might slip and slip they might kick you side of your head if you slip <laughs> you slip you get the best of you then so I gotta have something catch traction man but yeah like I'm saying do you see how my tongue fold on these these are the best detailing shoes money can buy and these are very warm the Timberlands waterproof guarantee you waterproof Timberlands they insulated and um they gonna keep you warm man you can wear it like me like i said i rock mine all year round i don't just wear them um just to wash cars i dress with them when i go out to the stores or whatever i, I still have on shorts or whatever t-shirt and in the winter time i wear my sweats you know what i'm saying my hoodie i still rock my tims that's just my style man but yeah i think I, like i said i paid 150 for these but uh, anyway, let's get these out of the way. Okay. All right, now here's another one. This one here is a waterproof, which is a good boot. And this here, pretty expensive boot. Uh, this one here is a little bit different style. This is more of a, you could dress with it. You could wear jeans with it. Uh, I guess anything you really want with these right here. These are called Born. You heard of Born? Born makes some really nice boots, guys. That's most all I wear is boots. You know what I'm saying? I don't really mess with no sneakers, no dress shoes. 
And none of this. You know, it ain't my style, big dog. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I rock boots, man. I like that rugged looking style here. And when you're detailing car, man, these boots are waterproof. They can get wet. And um, uh, I look like they uh, be rugged looking all at the same time, man. Look like I chase you to the end of the world. Huh? <laughs> ain't no stopping here, boy. Arm um, get cut off. How the guy did on the jewel the now. Alligator bit his arm or a little cigar. That's the kind of guy I am. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's either Jewel of the Nile or Romance in the Stone. Michael Douglas. Y'all remember that guy with the alligator bit his arm off? He took it, wrapped it up with a rag, and then he lit a cigar. That's what these boots remind me of. <laughs> he said, I want that jewel. <laughs> Romance in the Stone. But yeah, man, these are good waterproof boots. <laughs> They rugged looking. They got really good sturdy soles, as you can see right there. They got traction soles like a just a regular boot, but they lightweight. But they got really good soles on them. So they make these perfect for detailing. Plus, they're very rugged looking. You know, I rock these a lot. I broke them in. And I wear these out a lot. Kind of like, you know, I like that rugged, hard, rugged look, man. Almost like a cowboy. You know what I'm saying? You can rock them with jeans. You can rock them with sweats. Anything. Dress up in them too. Want to. Rock dress pants with them. You know. Leather coat. Cowboy hat. It's a cockbonga dude. He's running about 120. Alright, let's get it out of the way here. Okay, here's another one here. Um, polo. I got boots, man. I got about two, three hundred pairs of boots, man. Got boots everywhere, man. Here's a pair of polo. I got about five or six pair of these. These are polo, uh, Ralph Lauren, uh, forgot what he called these things. These boots. But y'all know a lot of you guys seen these before. It's about to get dark out here. But uh, yeah, I got the zip sides. Um, very comfortable. Very good for detailing cars. Uh, they're waterproof. they warm. And they're rugged looking too. They got the buckle to go across like that. They also unbuckle. They got pretty thick, sturdy soles. And I wear a size 14, buddy. Okay. And I'm um, six foot three. Size 14 shoes. <laughs> Big tall, six foot three, 300 pounds. No, 290. Size 14 shoes. Okay, check it out. And these are polo. Polo Ralph Lauren. These ran me about 150. Let's get it out of the way. All right, right here you got um, here's a pair of Wolverines that I had right here, size 14. That's a big shoe. Look, it's bigger than tote wheels. Look at him, man. <laughs> the shoe wise is tote. Hmm. And yeah, this is a good one. Insulated. Um, Wolverine makes some good boots too, guys, but it's just, just a brand I picked up a couple years back. Uh, I think I paid about 120 for these. Uh, I wear them time to time because they're 8 inches tall. When you're detailing cars, man, you need something like these because they come up so high. They're actually higher than the Timberland, if you can see. See that? They're taller than the Timbs. These are 8 inches, and the Tim Timberland is 6 inches. See the difference? So sometimes when I'm detailing cars out here, man, what I do, I wear these because they're taller up. They come up higher on my leg. So I just want to share a few with you guys. These run, like I said, run about 119, 120, the Wolverine. And these Tims run anywhere from 150 to 200 a piece. And I got about 30 pair, 30, 200 pair of boots all together. I got about 30, 40 pair of Tims. I got some polos and I got, oh, I got some motorcycle boots, the Rangos. You know, I got a whole lot of different brands of boots. Uh, my favorite one is Tim's, though. You know? So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's what I share a couple good detailing boots with you guys. Uh, it's that time of year, and I got dark on us here, man. Hope you guys enjoy it, though. Uh, don't wear them cheap dress shoes and sneakers out there trying to detail them cars, man. Wear that good stuff. they good, expensive, heavy-duty stuff. All right, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. 
Share my videos with your family and friends. Guys, take care. See you on the next one. Peace.